Good morning. Maybe it's not morning for you, but it's morning for me. So let's say. Okay, welcome back to my Sorrento travel vlog. Today we're gonna take a tour to the three restaurants that we went for dinner for the four days that we've been staying in Sorrento. Sorrento is a land that have a beautiful beach and is famous for its not only the gnocchi but also the mozzarella di bufala and and the very fresh seafood which is why of course i'm a seafood lover i have to go to eat seafood every single day so the first restaurant we've been to is the very popular restaurant we waited for one hour and we got in but it's worth every minute maybe if you want to go like we have been passing the restaurant from like 6 or 7 p.m but the line's still there or even in, at lunch so i don't think there is much chance that you can just go without waiting but it's worth the waiting maybe you should take like one hour also or at least 30 minutes of the waiting time and calculate the time to go and you'll be happy i promise look at the sauce the sauce is amazing it's like it's up to perfection it's not too much not too little everything was perfect so good it was delicious even now looking at the video i can i can already remember how delicious it was the squid my god is so thick so so tasty and the way they grill it as well makes it make it perfection i can see why people waiting the whole time and also one plus thing i have to say about this restaurant is the staff they very friendly so funny they make jokes with you they're friendly with you the serving was fast if you want to change, you want to add anything, they come super friendly with a huge smile. Even though they was working straight for hours with most, with a lot of people, because you see the line, they never stop working. Yet they still super friendly to everyone. Loved it. I would literally just. I have nothing to say about. This ricotta pear cheesecake is beautiful. It's so soft. Waited one hour, but it was worth it. And then we have dinner for like one hour and a half, so yeah. that's good. Totally worth it. Recommended. Recommend. 100%. <laughs> Buongiorno world. The second day, we had breakfast in the hotel restaurant every day, but I would take only one day just to show you how it is. They have a lot of good choice of pancakes, different kind of cake and cupcakes, bread, and also different kind of jams and some basic thing like sausage, cold cuts, um, cereals, milk, juice, everything. Okay, so this is the restaurant I found when my husband said he wants some pizza, but I'm not a big fan of pizza, so I found a restaurant that have both pizza and normal food. Yeah. I mean, this is gonna be really good, even if not, like maybe just for. Yeah. The restaurant was super quiet because we came pretty late. I think it was even half ten, not even ten, and there was only three or four table left, and only one table came after us. But in general, I liked it because. It's quite as nice. The price is very honest. I just I even want some uh, buffalo mozzarella. Thank you. I heard so many people said about the mozzarella di buffalo, which is the buffalo mozzarella. It's very good. It's super famous here and I can confirm that it's actually super good. But actually in our house in Rome, we always buy the buffalo mozzarella from Sorrento. So it's kind of similar to what I was always eating. Still super good. Mm -hmm. 
This pasta seriously brought my soul away. So good. Every single piece, even like the lemon zest on top of it. Amazing. The last restaurant that we're gonna eat here today is O Parugiano La Favorita. We came here for our one year anniversary and we chose it on purpose because it has a super romantic look and the fancy food that normally they can do course to but we choose to have like different foods that we like so it was amazing I wonder how many tables do they have here it seems like they have at least like hundreds of tables so many how could the waiters can remember everything I'm gonna pick something fishy. I mean, it's a kind of fancy restaurant, so you cannot expect everything to be like a lot of amount. So it's just one piece. So we, we of course we share half and half. Everything was very decent and good. I loved it, but I would say I prefer something more local food kind of like like the two restaurants we've been to yesterday and the day before happy anniversary my love happy one year anniversary many more years i say one two three happy anniversary happy anniversary the pasta was good I do prefer some kind of thinner pasta so you can feel the sauce more. This pasta is so thick so it gives the taste to the dish. I don't know how to how to put it into words, but you know, the pasta should be the base. I don't know, maybe. But because it was so thick, it affects the taste of the food. Francesco is a Francesco and the Mmm, what a beautiful. My husband loves that anchovies. <laughs> this anchovy is kind of bigger than the anchovies you would normally found in a Rome restaurant. In Rome, the anchovy is a little bit smaller. In fact, that day when we going home, it was raining so hard that we get soaked when we arrive hotel. Good memory though. Ooh. <laughs> Oof, my favorite. I really want to remake that dessert of the profiterole <laughs> of lemon something, but it was so good. I think it's kind of shoe cream, but instead like of the shoe cream inside, it has some kind of lemon stuffing, <laughs> but very good. <laughs> it's totally that, my love. So, this is toward the end of the video. I just want to say thank you everyone for watching our trip so far and don't forget to subscribe and follow me on Instagram for more information about the next trip of us to Positano and I have another video of Ostia Antica, the very popular and famous Rome Bruins. So don't forget to watch! <laughs>